are doing fantastic. So for the past few weeks, I've taken clips here and there to just like show that I am taking care of myself, to really hold myself to it, and also to just romanticize my life, because why not, you know? I've been going through it, so this has kind of helped me realize that there are still a lot of things in my life to appreciate, so hopefully we can take care of ourselves together. This is not the usual art content, but I do have videos for the near future to make, but right now I'm just taking care of myself, taking a little break. There's a lot of change happening in my life, so I don't want to add too much stuff to it, and YouTube is something that I can easily just stop doing if I want to. The only person holding it to myself is me, so I can take a break. I'm allowed to do that, and hopefully I will keep remembering that in the future. Tayara is like the only friend I've seen for the past half a year, which is insane. Like, if we were normally in school, I would be seeing like hundreds of people every day, but this is where we are still, unfortunately. It's almost been a year since we've left school, which is crazy to think about. And now we are finally having the opportunity to like go back, and I'm just not sure I even want to do that anymore. I get to work on all my personal stuff at home while I'm doing school, which is like really nice. I always can have my hands on something and I don't have the opportunity at school to do that. So yeah, I had IHOP for the first time. It was nice. Pancakes were very fluffy. I've been doing a lot of cleansing lately and I'm not trying to like appropriate anything like this is genuinely something that I've been interested in and been doing for for quite some time now. Probably since like freshman year it's like spirituality and all that and wicca aspects of wicca i've been very interested in and also bits of buddhism here and there but i don't know i don't know what it is like i'm not super religious or anything but it does bring me comfort and i think that's what religion is there for like at the end of the day i think i am pretty agnostic if anything but i like to incorporate certain things in my life that do bring me comfort from these certain practices Thank you. Thank you very much. I wanted to say thank you guys for the millionth time for like sticking around, enjoying my content. I'm just so thankful for you guys. I was able to leave my job because YouTube is now paying me pretty much just as much as that, which is insane. Growing up, I've always kind of had this idea that I'm going to have a job in the future and I'll probably find a way to make a substantial amount of money, but I never really thought I would be doing something that I genuinely loved and was too crazy about. And I'm crazy about YouTube. I love you guys. I can't picture myself doing anything else besides art, besides creating content. I just wanted to give a giant thank you to you guys for like enjoying my content and being here. As some of you may know, I took a break from social media for like five days. It was not that long, but it was a nice break. I will admit that and I was able to hop on some of my projects that I'd been procrastinating on and I was able to go outside more because staring at a screen was not taking up as much time anymore and it made me a little more appreciative of what I have in my life and I need to do that more. I just need to take breaks a lot more. <laughs> um, I've had Instagram since elementary school and it's always just been like there. It hasn't really been a crutch necessarily but it's definitely been a big part of my life and yeah, I really do need to take breaks a lot more frequently because they do help me out. Cleaning is also a big thing that really helps me feel good mentally. If my room's not clean, then my mind is just a mess. It's very reflective of my environment, so cleaning is a very, very important part in my life. It helps to take all of your anger out by aggressively wiping down everything. Killing two birds with one stone.
I low-key forgot that Matthew Sorgi has prints and I've been needing some more art on this wall because there used to be a plethora of magazine cutouts and now there's like basically nothing compared to that. So I'm gonna treat myself. I'm gonna get this Anna's room print. It's very orange and I need some more orange in this room because my desk used to be orange and now there's a lack of it. So yeah, gonna do that for myself. <laughs> this is my failed attempt at one of those TikTok fashionista kind of videos. I put my foot up in everything and I was on my way to Walmart to get ramen, which I have not had in a very long time because I was told the MSG triggered my migraines, but I drank a lot of water ahead of time. I took some Advil and I enjoyed it. It was quite nice. <laughs> Tayara and I went to Doll's Head Trail, which is kind of like a museum, but like with creepy shit, and it's so cool. Like, if you haven't gone before, I would recommend if you're in Atlanta, and you have to put Constitution Lakes in the Google Maps or else it will take you to like a dead end on the road, and it's very complicated. It took us like five minutes to find it, but it's very cool. Besides the fact that my literal college acceptance letter came, which I already knew because I already got the email, um, my stickers have arrived, so I'm gonna open that now. Yo! So they are pretty small, but look! They're so cute! It's the little cat lady in the computer and her cat! Ah! I love them so much! You know what I recommend doing? Listening to Bossa Nova while you are out and about in nature. It's so therapeutic, such an experience. There's some good playlists on Spotify. Highly recommend. I'd also like to note that this is the first sunny, warm day we've had in a very long time. It was like 30 degrees last week and now it's like 75, which is crazy. But yeah, I'm really appreciative of that. Do you like them? Okay, I'm home from my walk now, and look at how cute these little vinyl stickers are! So tiny! Little babies! I think my only complaint is that they do have a bit of a little brown- Oh! Hi! They do have a little bit of- do, Like, do you see that? Brown outline, kind of? So I don't know if I want to call those B grade or not, or just like try and sell them all because I don't think it really affects it that much, but I think I saw it happen to someone else in one of their videos, but yeah, first batch, they have this thing on them, so I don't really know what to do. Lately I've been lacking a lot of creative motivation, if you will, and when I made these earrings, when I made the design, I was just like not really intending to sell them or like try to make more than just one pair. Like, I don't know where I was going. I just like started 
working with the clay and then I was like oh let's make an eye let's like add some eyelids around it I think that would be cool and then I can make like other skin colors beyond the classic skin colors of like human flesh I can do like blue skin or like purple skin or green skin and I don't know I haven't really had thoughts like that in a while I haven't been able to really think organically like that in a very long time in early December I barely had a thousand subscribers on here which is like crazy to think about but I only bring this up because having all these eyes watching me, not related to these eyes that I'm making, but having everyone watching me, this many people, so suddenly, really fucked up my creativity. I'm just gonna be honest. And it put a lot more pressure on me to make something because, you know, everyone's watching. And I don't know, it really changed the game, especially once I got monetized. And I just need to sit down and take a break from a lot of things every once in a while. I think I'm gonna take a break from social media every once in a while and just create for myself because that's where the real creativity comes in for me, honestly. And I really, really enjoy moments like those where I don't have to create for y'all, even though I love y'all, but y you understand, right? So <laughs> that is definitely gonna be a thing in the future where I just take a break from screens for a while. Much needed break. I splurged on a whim and I decided to use Matthew Sorge's link and get a paper-like screen protector. This is not endorsed by paper-like in any shape or form, but it's supposed to be like a screen protector for your iPad that makes it feel more like paper as opposed to glass when you're drawing on it. So I'm going to apply this screen protector and see how it works. So inside the package, there was a paper that prompted me to go to a website with further instructions for the application and it was very intuitive. I don't know if that's the right word, but I've never applied a screen protector like this before and I did not have any problems. Usually it's a very stress inducing moment, but this was actually quite nice. Um, so yeah, not much else to say about it except for it was really easy and I was using my student ID card to like make the bubbles go away and I thought I was scraping the screen protector for some reason but I was not that was just a dumb moment um but yeah super easy 10 out of 10 would recommend oh wow I love that already Oh my goodness, hold on. It really does feel like paper, honestly. Like, just from a first impression. You hear that? Hmm, that's sexy. It really does make a difference, like, I'm not even kidding. There's probably a lot of cheaper versions of this screen protector on Amazon or other places. Probably you don't have to be on Amazon. But, yeah, I like the paper-like one. This seems to be working really well, and the application was very big brain, very smart. Anyone who uses Procreate knows that it is quite difficult to adjust, especially on like glass, you know, the screen is glass, it's very slippery. Um, this causes a bit more friction, I think, which helps a lot. It feels very like, I don't know, it just feels right. I like having the friction when I'm drawing with a pencil. Yeah, 10 out of 10, works very well. <laughs> My shop has been open for only like three, four hours, maybe, and I've already gotten five orders, which I was not expecting. I was expecting like one or two, but this is really cool. It's these little sticky boys, little baby stickies. Y'all all ordered like two or more, which is so cool. I love that. Thank you so much. I just wanted to express my gratitude and I will be sending these out tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I love you, seriously these birds um i guess i'll end the vlog here because i don't know what else to talk about i don't know what else to do is this even a vlog i don't know this video whatever it is and i hope to see you guys in the next one all right i love you so much all right bye <laughs>